this is a, a place I've not been to for many many years and I've said to myself I must come back and look because as you can see there are the landing lights for 26 left at Gatwick and over there is the A23 and the runway is right in front of us now you can't actually see the runway there is a gap in the fence here which I believe spotters do use because you can actually see a British Airway I'm not sure if you can see that or not I'll just zoom in a little bit but it's a British Airways 777 about to take off and if you're collecting numbers you would be able to get that number no problem um, with a telescope or binoculars there's this through there there's nothing landing at the moment but I will add some landing footage and the other great thing about this is as you saw before you got the um, railway and it's only a small or short walk down from the Beehive City Place Gatwick and you can walk right the way along there up to you can see the terminal just above the trees in the distance and you can see the start of Gatwick Airport Railway Station over there as well so I've not been here for a long time the reason I don't come here very often is because you're a bit con well you can't see the airports at the, at the on the airport side very well for photography purposes spotting purposes you can and you're quite low down here too and you get an awful lot of people walking past and this is the first lull I've seen there's someone come towards me now but there's been a, there's another train London the Gatwick line that is on its way down to Brighton maybe Eastbourne maybe Portsmouth but Thameslink very good train service to get to Gatwick. You can get it from Cambridge right the way down to um, to Gatwick, and you can get the train from Three Bridges, which is my local station, right the way up to St Pancras, and then you can change for the rest of the um, the country. And of course, there is King's Cross right next door to it. So anyway, I'm going to stop filming now and wait for an aircraft to land. And that's how close they come. It's a bit of a grey day today, but nevertheless, it's um, quite good to be here. Plenty of stuff going out as well. Very noisy though, traffic and trains and um, planes, but there you go. If you love aviation, it's a good place to come. So that's Gatwick Place, and I've just walked from the corner where it says DNA, or I presume it's DNA, around there and up here. And now this is the walk up to the traffic lights, which the coaches and buses come down for City Place, and anybody who works here comes down this way as well. That used to be the Nestle building, which is no longer. And up here you will see, that's the helicopter maintenance area that used to be there the helicopters parked outside and all this embankment here wasn't here then it was all flat and that used to be a big field out across there so they had plenty of room to come in and go out but it closed down and went and now I think all I ever see outside there now is bathroom bits and pieces like bars and toilets and stuff like that but you can see up here now in front, as you come up around the corner, the control tower over there in the distance. This is Gatwick. Oh, where's is this landing? Very dark, grey day today. Not my ideal photography weather. But at the end of the day, it gets me out the house, gets me away from the computer, and stops me um, having to update air spotters, which I love doing. And today we've got a couple of special malls going on today. Um, a great crisis for Christmas um, but I thought as it's my birthday today I will um, 
on the airport and this is the A23 the A23 which is it's a busy road and it goes dead quiet because there's a series of traffic lights on it and they just hold the traffic back and there's no cars for a while then suddenly about 20 cars come through because they've all been held at the traffic lights because the airport etc but um, it's a good way to come spotting this is the bit I was telling you about earlier this is the high point so you can see what I was saying about about the fence you're, you're above the fence here you can photograph aircraft over the fence and it's a good high point you start going down the hill here but it doesn't make a lot of difference it's still a good high point to be I normally go up to that telephone pole the, the bus is going down to the um, city place and I normally stand by this pole well my fear is and I've seen it happen before is cars come around there so fast that if they come off the road they're going to knock you over and I've seen cars over 40 50 years um, crash here and I always think that if I got this massive great big telephone pole and a fence I could probably get out of the way of it but um, it's probably in truth they'll probably flatten me but uh, there you go right you're going to see what's coming on flight radar get a few pictures in this video as well it's a um, video so um, stay tuned and watch to the very end thanks very much